Hello there, I am Rusky D, and I'm not going to be doing a playthrough talk through today. Today, I would like to talk to something about this game that bugs me, and it's the single design feature of this game which bugs me the most. And I think it's going to be something you haven't even noticed, but I'm something of a details guy. I'm a modeler myself, and I'm a designer, most importantly. So. I kind of go through the design process and when I see something like this, it just really, really bugs me. Now, okay, this is McCree. He's like our cowboy gunslinger dude. And I think in general, he's really cool design. They like wanted a Clint Eastwood type cowboy person. They got like his Clint Eastwoody shawl thing. He's got the hat. He's got, you know, the, the kind of long distance eyes. Hey there. Okay, so stuff that could irritate me about this model, but it doesn't. Look how this chap here, that doesn't flex with his foot, it just stays up there all the time, slightly irritating. The spurs, you see how spurs have this little point in the middle? They're meant to rotate so they don't gouge up your horse when you like sink the spurs into its flank. But you know, that's fine, artistic, license, whatever. These bullets here, you see them? They're quite big, they don't fit in the chamber of his gun. So we have to question what those bullets are for. Mm, who cares? And in fact, even the bullets on his hat of a completely different caliber. Can you imagine if his gun fired those bullets? They're tiny. And also, there's nothing holding them onto his hat. Those bullets are literally just glued there. But that's not what bugs me about McCree. What bugs me about McCree is on his gun, there's a spur on the back. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, yeah, but like, there's loads of dumb design in Overwatch. In fact, let me just escape back here. Like, um... There's things like Roadhog. Look, he's like covered in, you know, stupid shit. But this is all like, I don't know, it's like, it, it strikes me as fantastical. They have some netting. He's a shark themed like Roadhog. Let's just get a classic as well. Look, he's road themed. He has a, a tire on his shoulder with spikes on. And, you know, like this, this winch, that's somehow what winch is in from the hook. But I mean, we don't care. And there's a spike on his boot. Like, sure, whatever. And, like, you could argue that stuff like Reinhardt... Oops, let's go and look at this Reinhardt skin. He has, like, loads of stupid, like, stylizations on his armor. But they're kind of... They're stylizations. And the thing about this spur is... Spurs are, like, a functional item. They're, like, you have a spur because it does a thing. And what you use that spur for is when you're riding a horse, you use the spurs, normally on your feet, like McCree has them on the back of his heels, to spur your horse on as it were like you dig them into its flanks and the horse goes ow that hurts oh i should run faster so instantly there's a question of why anyone would have a spur on their gun it kind of reminds me almost of a leatherman or like a swiss army knife where you've decided it's going to have this extra function like as soon as i see that I imagine McCree attempting to pistol whip his horse to make it go faster. And that's just ridiculous. Like, okay, so what I suspect happened in this meeting was, well, we have this character who's really, really cowboy. So, you know, because look, look at all this cowboy shit. He's wearing chaps. That's a cowboy thing. He's got the cowboy hat. He's got the thing. He's a cyber cowboy because fuck yeah, cyber cowboys. That is sweet as. Um, he's even got cowboy boots. Like, amazing, right? Except they came to his gun and they were like, okay, that's a really sweet six-shooter, but how do we make it more cowboy? And I can imagine the designer, like, presenting um, his ideas to the artistic lead. And there's, there's one concept of the gun where it's wearing a cowboy hat, and the designer's like, a gun wearing a hat? Mm, I, I don't know if we can really sell that. There's one, you know, iteration of the gun where or some other cowboy shit where it's got a little gun belt on it with two six shooters but then they were like wait but but the gun belt on the gun shouldn't we like put little guns on the gun doesn't matter you, there's an like a recursive thing going on there with you know a fractal guns wearing smaller guns wearing smaller guns they decided against that probably for the best and then you know they had one where the gun was riding a horse because cowboys do that but you know that didn't really fit that well in his hand um and then they had one where the gun had an entire diorama of the good the bad and the ugly with clint eastwood facing off against two other men on the gun but they didn't fly but there was one where the lead where the artistic lead was like hang on a minute a spur on the gun spurs are cowboy shit 
Let's put that on the gun. And it says, this isn't just anybody's gun. This is a cowboy's gun because cowboys wear spurs. And that just strikes me as the laziest, laziest design. It just, it, ah, oh. and it just pains me. Like, I mean, to, to offhand, I can't think, how could they make the gun more McCree? But, does the spur really make it more McCree? It just strikes me as the actual implied functionality of a spur, as in to make your horse go faster by hitting it with it, is absolutely ludicrous on a gun. And it, okay, it also just gets away with the other stuff. He does loads of like spinny stuff with his gun. Like, I, I don't know if any of you have ever, ever worn spurs. I've worn spurs as, you know, part of a steampunk costume. And spurs are really fucking awkward. They get in the way of everything. They catch on everything. And like, just with a load of like emotes that McCree does. Firstly, the spur cuts into his hand in default pose, if you can see that. Like, and that spur would be awful. It'd be so irritating. It'd catch on everything. It'd hurt you all the time. The gun would be so cool without it. Like, I, I can't actually get a good close-up in game, I don't think. Uh, maybe there's a way, but I don't know. But yeah, just, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, that is my least favorite part of the design of Overwatch, is that spur on McCree's gun, just because it makes no sense. Although, bonus, look at McCree's trigger discipline. He is not firing his gun, and his finger is off of the trigger. That's good. He's not going to accidentally shoot someone. We have to approve. Oh, and another thing. Okay, he has a line, because, you know, being a cowboy, he's all about, it's high noon. And he has a line where, it's high noon somewhere in the world. And that proves that McCree has no knowledge of how time zones work, because... Time zones only differ by an hour. So let's say it's a quarter past the hour. That means it's high noon nowhere in the world. Like everywhere in the world, it is a quarter past the hour. Like it's only ever high noon in the world somewhere when it's like on the hour. Just ugh. these little design things. Have they have they really thought about this? Anyway, I've been Rusky Do. I hope you have been enlightened stroke entertained by this and i will catch you later